AI. It's an area that traditionally AI has attacked for quite some time. Uh, but now we're no longer just going to be looking at historical data and making predictions, but uh, really able to take in signals uh, from various, you know, unstructured data sets, economic reports, social media, um, to be able to not just say, here's what might happen in the future, but why it could happen. Um, not just, you know, being reactive, but a lot more proactive in offering insights to our business leaders from finance. Uh, the second big area is financial reporting and compliance. Uh, you know, a lot of automation and AI has already gone into helping us with things like error reduction and a little bit of automation in reporting. But now uh, there's a huge opportunity with Gen AI to actually look at adaptability in a whole new lens, right? How do we keep up with regulatory changes, be able to adjust reporting frameworks, be able to incorporate local laws uh, as they change, and uh, also, you know, not just uh, provide these updates, but make action suggestions and, and do some of these tasks, right? Uh, the last area is um, fraud in risk management, uh, which again, AI has been attacking for a while, uh, but financial fraud, crime, um, it's getting a lot more sophisticated and Gen AI is now going to be able to um, pull in new and interesting, more subtle um, correlations that we never even thought of. Um, so that's that's really exciting and that's the you know three areas that we hear most from finance leaders. I'd like to add also transactional finance as an area that we see Gen AI can really have a huge area of impact because um, I, honestly, it, it'll change the way people work in finance and accounting, right? How you do um, order to cash, procure to pay, things like collection co-pilots, um, you know, being able to change your actual workflows around um, Gen AI, that's really where the future is. Uh, and so I would urge finance leaders not just to think of this as, you know, another kind of AI model to throw at your hard number problems, but really think about the work that, that your teams are doing and how that can really be impacted, not just for productivity, but to help you create more value for the organization.